Good evening, boys and girls, and thank you for tuning in to another story time with Miss Nesbitt. I am so excited about the story I'm going to share with you tonight. Hey, we have been going at it for five nights so far. This is our sixth bedtime story on our mark the 12 days before Christmas bedtime story with Miss Nesbitt. Me. I am so excited. And I thank you all for joining me and being a part of this series of bedtime story. You know, it's so wonderful to be able to snuggle up and to be with family and friends during this holiday season, to be able to share wonderful memories and times together, to see how we have grown and changed and become better at what we do. And even in our own um, innermost self, I thank God for allowing me to be able to share moments like this with you all. And I thank God for allowing you to be able to tune in with me because it would not be possible without him and without you tuning in to be able to share the wonderful Christmas stories and any story that I read to you. So tonight, Christmas story is called The First Snow by M. Christina Butler and Frank endorsed me. I am so excited that I am having a privilege to do this. So let's get into it and let's get ready for our Christmas story of tonight. Published by Little Tiger. The First Snow. Little deer peeped out of the bed and blanket in the morning sunshine. Yikes! He squeaked. Where's everything gone? Everywhere was different. Even the grass had gone. The woods was covered with a huge white blanket. Little deer sniffed and sparkling ground in front of him. Oh, he cried, it's cold. Wee! Rabbit came sl slippery and sliding up to little deer. Snow, snow, look at the snow. Watch me, little deer. Squirrel cried, jumping from the top of the pine tree. Yippee! What's happening? What have happened? Squealed little deer. Where's all the grass gone? Rabbit giggled. <laughs> the beginning and begin to dig. Ta-da, he said, as a tuft of ice grass appeared. Little deer nibbled a bit here and nibbled a bit there. The cold, crispy grass was very strange. Catch me if you can, cried Rabbit, skipping off. Easy peasy, laughed Squirrel. Come on, little deer, come on. Little deer stepped carefully into the cold, slippery snow. Pop, plop, 
He fell on his nose in the snow drift. Poop, thump. He slipped and slid and landed on his top. He tried again and again. Soon he was bouncing over the snow drift after his friends. This is fun, he cried happily. But just then... Splat! A big ball of snow landed right on Little Deer's nose. Oh, he cried. I hate the snow. I want to go home. Sorry, Giggle Rabbit. Don't go, Little Deer. We're going to build a snowman, said Squirrel. And we can't do it without you, said Rabbit. Rabbit patted a place of snow, and they all began to push. The snowball got bigger and bigger, and they pushed and pushed until they couldn't push anymore. Let's make the snowman a head, said Squirrel. He'll be bigger than me, little deer laughed. But with a creak and a groan, the snowball began to roll down the hillside. Oh no, shouted little deer. Stop that snowman! Slipping and sliding, they all chased down the hill. Faster and faster, the snowball rolled. And faster and faster, they tumbled after it. Swoosh! They slimmered off and bottom of the hillside, spinning around and around until, crash! They landed in a big, snowy heap. That was awesome, gasped little deer. Look, we're on ice, said Rabbit. Let's skate. Slowly and slippery and slipping and wiggling and wobbly, they try to stand. Bloop! Swoosh! Thump! They skidded and slid it, and down they fell again and again. Woo! -hoo. Squeal, squirrel! Yikes! Giggle, rapping. Look at me, shouted little deer, gliding off by himself. I can skate. On and on they twirled until the moon shone bright and stars twinkled in the deep blue sky. Little deer's first snow had been such a surprise but it had been the best fun ever. The end. What a wonderful story this was of change. Sometimes we have to go through changes in seasons and life and all those things. And sometimes the changes is the first for most. I love this wonderful story. And maybe this is your first Christmas. Maybe this is the first Christmas you've seen snow in your area. Or maybe this is the first Christmas is cold. Or you're with a new family. Or with your family. Or with new people in your family. Hey, whatever it is for you, enjoy this season with family. Enjoy this season. Finding out 
the true reason for the season. So I hope you enjoy this wonderful story. And I hope you enjoy the time with your family as well. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. Until next time, this is Ms. Nesbitt with Storytime with Ms. Nesbitt. Be blessed and have a wonderful sleep.